I recently had a request to help with answering these questions. It was two questions. One was write these in their simplest index notation and it looked like this. We have 5 cubed times 15 squared times 3 squared and the other one was like this 20 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 4 times 125. Now my understanding of writing something in their simplest index notation is to probably write each of these numbers as powers of prime numbers and then collect them if they are the same. So if we look at 5 that already is a prime number but let's look at the number 15. If we use what we call a factor tree we can find the factors of 15 and we know that 2 doesn't go into 15 but 3 does and 3 times 5 is 15. So this could be written as 5 cubed times, now we can put in here 3 times 5 squared and we've already got 3 squared at the end, already a prime number. Now if we use our index rules this one's already simplified down but remember there's a 1 here and a 1 here and we multiply these when we've got a bracket so a power to a power we multiply them out so we end up with 3 to the 1 times 2 times 5 to the 1 times 2 so it's 5 squared and then on the end we have our 3 squared so then when we collect these we can just collect the numbers with the same bases. Let's do them in order from lowest to highest. So we've got 3 squared times 3 squared. So because they're the same bases, we can add the indexes. And then we've got 5, and we've got to the 3 there. And because these bases are the same, we add the indexes. And I suggest that the simplest way to write this is 3 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 5. And that's writing this number here in its simplest index notation. Let's go across to B now and let's look at the numbers. So 20 can be broken down into its common factors. Let's have a look at the tree. We've got 2 times 10. So there's one common factor. We can break 10 down into 2 times 5. So we actually stop there because we've broken it down into a product of prime factors, 2 times 2 times 5. So 20 looks like this, 2 times 2 times 5, all to the power of 5. What about 8? Well, let's break 8 down. Now, we know that 8 is 2 times 4, so there's 1. And we know that 4 is 2 times 2. So we've got 2 times 2 times 2 to the power of 4. So let's write this down as 2 cubed, because there's 3 of them, 1, 2, 3, all to the power of 4. So we could have actually written this as 2 to the power of 2 as well, because there's 2 of them, 1 plus 1 there. Indexes are 1, add them, we get 2 squared times 5. Well, we can do that in the next line. Let's have a look at 125. Here's 125. Well, we know that 2 can't go into 125. We know that 3 can't, so let's try 5. That's our next prime number. So 5 into 125, or well, 5 into 12 goes 2, remainder 2, and 5 into 25 goes 25. So there's 1. And of course, the factors of 25 are 5 and 5. So that's 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5. So we can write this as 5 cubed. All right, let's just write this now as 2 to the power of 2, because there's a 1 there and a 1 there, times 5, all to the power of 5, times, we'll just leave this as, as it is just for the moment. And we've got 5 cubed here. 
So simplifying this, remember we multiply this and remember there's a one there. So we multiply those together and we end up with two to the power of 10 times five to the power of one times five, which is five times two to the power of three times four, which is 12 times five cubed. Now to finish this off, we just collect our bases. So we've got two to the 10, and there's another base of two. So two to the 10 plus 12 times, there's our base five. So we can add the indexes here, five plus three. And we can finally finish off our answer as two to the power of, now this is 10 plus 12, that's two to the power of 22 times five to the power of five plus three is five to the eight. And I would suggest that that's the simplest way to write that in index notation.